Bob Wilson and Paul Milgram made fundamental contributions to the understanding of the economics of auctions and market design. It all started in the 60s when Bob Wilson was an applied mathematician at the, uh, and he started working on understanding how markets aggregate information. And that's a long-standing question in economics and he really um, uh, wanted to understand why in auctions sometimes winners uh, end up actually losing uh, money. That's known as the winner's curse. What's going on that in an auction when you're bidding you have to be careful because what happens you only end up paying and the money and getting the object be it for example a um, you could be bidding for radio spectrum only when the other competitors are not willing to bid as much as you are. That means they maybe knew something you didn't know and that's why they were holding off and stopping bidding. And so when bidding then you really have to be wary of the winner's curse. And he, uh, Bob, together with Paul, kind of understood that very well and analyzed what happens, how that fundamental fear of losing money affects bidding behavior or should affect bidding behavior in auctions. But they didn't stop there, they went on. They actually uh, got their hand, hands dirty, especially starting from the mid-90s, helping governments to design auctions to sell um, in assets like radio spectrum that historically was actually given out. And this is very handed out to, to companies for free. This is a very valuable asset. Companies end up paying uh, millions, if not billions, of dollars for those assets, and governments, uh, you know, in a way, cashed in what is an important public good, and in indirectly managed to reduce taxation, thanks to the actual very subtle and careful design of these auctions, uh, with the help, the great help of Bob Wilson, Paul Milgram, and their their students. So it's a great personally. It's also uh, very exciting for me. These are my real idols. Uh, Bob is the advisor of my advisor, Ben Tomstrom, who himself got the Nobel Prize a few, year few years ago. And so Paul is uh, also a student of Bob, and Bob is the wonderful, uh, generous mentor who really believes in the power of science and economics in making the world a better place by really talking to practitioners. And so it really shows the way how economists should get involved with real problems and uh, work together with government and business to solve them. And now with the current crisis, clearly this work is very, very topical. And these insights are used to design sub subsidy schemes to uh, help um, you know, the economy getting out of this uh, very difficult crisis.